using this hoop across the speaker. Whoa, no wires whatsoever. How does it do it? So today I'm talking to you about this little gadget here. This is the Yorkville EXM Mobile. It is a speaker that is completely battery powered, completely wireless. This is it, this is everything you need right here. Let's walk through this. It has plug-in power, that is your charger, or it operates off of the power. You have three channels. One of them is Bluetooth capable. The other two, standard plug-in. You have your levels for each one, your master level, uh, let's see what else it effects, which is completely useless for magicians entirely. Not helpful at all. And then a very basic EQ system, which just uh, lets you choose between more music oriented, which is probably full spectrum, towards a more vocal oriented, which would probably focus in on the higher frequencies or the, the standard vocal frequencies to help you cut out uh, excess noise. All that is packed in a nice light package that actually makes a pretty good amount of noise. Now I've also got my uh, Surface Pro tablet here, which is what I use to run my music. You can't see it in the sunlight, but it's running a Q program. It's attached to this, which is my wireless uh, receiver, which of course attaches to my wireless remote. Today, I'm attaching my tablet to the speaker using Bluetooth. Completely wireless, under normal circumstances, I wouldn't do that. I just run from the headphone output jack a wire straight into the speaker because this would usually be located at the front of the stage within a short hop of the speaker itself. But today, completely wireless for demonstration purposes. With the remote, and there we go. You can hear that coming in. Now playing music completely wirelessly. And then there's one more piece of our wireless audio puzzle, which is a microphone. I'm gonna try this out, awkwardly put on with one hand. So I've got my Countryman style microphone, not Countryman price. I pay about $20 for these. I really like them. They're uh, affordable enough that they're almost disposable if they happen to break. That is attached to your standard transmitter belt pack unit. I prefer these to any of the like the behind the ear, the head worn ones. I like to keep it light on my head and just have that attached to my belt. My preference. That's standard. What you may not be as familiar with is this. This is the receiver that goes with this. So this is in itself wireless as well. It's battery powered. It's built to go on video cameras much like this. So the, the camera doesn't have to be plugged into power in order to power this. The only plug-in we need is to plug in to the speaker itself. So let's try that out. Check. Check, 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 test. Testing, check, check. So now you're gonna hear me on the speaker from this thing wirelessly to the receiver which was wirelessly plugged in with a wire to the speaker which is running wirelessly and of course as magicians we are skeptical for for those of you at home i will prove that we are operating completely wirelessly using this hoop across the speaker whoa no wires whatsoever so you can see how this is an extremely practical system yorkville exm mobile there's others like it. I really like Yorkville, and I'm excited to make use of this speaker to make gigs easier, quicker to set up, and outdoor with no trouble at all. And I just learned a valuable lesson myself. In the course of like five minutes out here in the direct sunlight, my tablet overheated. Usually it's tucked away at the side. This is the first time being out in the bright sun didn't last five minutes, so lesson learned for the future. So that's it for today on Tips and Tricks for Magicians. Hope you enjoyed that. I hope you find it practical 
for your summer gigs to be completely wireless. I'm excited about it. It's gonna save a lot of setup time. I'm gonna post specific links to this equipment, even though there's lots of alternatives. I'm, I'm really happy with this speaker. Oh, feedback. Uh, I don't know, usually I put my face directly in the speaker and it's not a problem. But anyhow, I will post those links and hopefully this is helpful. See you next time on Tips and Tricks for Magicians.